We're back, people, and today we're going to film on River Craycraft, Miami Dolphins wide receiver, and he made the team. Very nice to see. I'm a big fan of his game. I always had a good feeling, good gut feeling that he would make the team. Even though they had, like, seven bodies, capable people, I feel like once I saw Cedric Wilson get, um, like, rework his contract, that Chosen was going to be the odd man out. Because I feel like the coaching staff just really loves Craycraft. His fit in the system is so nice, and he's just, like, that perfect guy to have. Um, as a depth wide receiver, he's super underrated, I think, in this offense. His ability to make plays at the catch point, as you'll see all throughout this video, his hands are very strong and just great situational field awareness. And something he always does in his route stem, like he can run good routes and like, you know, set things up, vary his tempo, things like that. But in this offense, it's all about timing and he wastes no time getting into his routes. He just gets there quickly, makes a sharp, efficient break at the cut right there. At, like at the top of his route, he makes very efficient cuts. And it's all about the timing. That's why he always has fit well with Tua. Like, he played with Tua last year, and they always seem to be on the same page. And he makes tough catches. Here, catching the ball with his hands, you know, dead in those feet, get the toe tap in, two feet in bounds. He's very good in those situations. Has a very good feeling uh, in that area. Just a fun player to watch, and I really like how he comes in, just rotates in, and then just does exactly his job and gets where he needs to be within the timing of the offense because it's so important in McDaniel's system. And that's why when he usually is in the game, he's getting some catch where he ends up being open just by working within the scheme. This is a very good example of the whole timing thing within his route. You can see how he just burst off the line, doesn't slow down at all, wastes no time. And then he just does a great job of making those routes look vertical because he doesn't, you know, slow his tempo down at all. Even when he gets up to the top of his route stem, he just makes one hard, efficient cut. And you can see Skyler's releasing it before River even breaks. And he's getting to his route full speed. That's how important timing is in this offense. And look how it, like, affects the DB at the top of the route. Like, he could, you know, if he has a little more time, he can do a little more stuff, be a little more nuanced in his route stem, set up these DBs really well. But he knows he doesn't have the time. He just got he just has to get to his spot right away. And that hard jab gets the DB to open up, creates that separation naturally, and then makes another nice catch. Very comfortable working near the sideline. Like getting to this ball right here and not even having to toe top. He catches it with his hands very strong at the catch point, very natural. And he's still able to just be very smooth around the sideline. Didn't even have to do a toe tap in that situation, which is very impressive just from where he was aligned pre-snapped like on the numbers but yeah just getting into that timing right there of the route stem and just being very strong at the catch point as you'll see him making ridiculous catches all throughout the video here we get to see river working towards on the middle of the field on an in-breaking route you know just little glance over the middle of the field he makes a tough catch above the frame which is nice to see um working versus cover three here looks like he's gonna get pressed the guy bails out so he just leans into him, you know, uses that hand if he needs to create separation, but that DB sort of just gives him that inside track, so he just takes it. Looks very smooth, comfortable. You can see the athleticism on display there. And then he just creates natural separation just based on the coverage of the defense. Ball's thrown up and away. You can see him high point it here. Isn't able to bring it in because it's a little bit too high on the first thing, but he shows off great concentration tracking to pull that in. Very impressive, especially working towards the middle of the field. You never know. You could always take a hit. Say this safety didn't work over the top on this route and broke down. He could take that hit, but he shows that nice toughness, a willingness to work towards the middle of the field like that, make these tough catches. Very glad that he stayed on the team. I feel like he's just a very nice fit for this offense. And once he comes in, you know exactly what to expect from him and just very fun to watch him make these types of plays the tough catches he was very impressive in this third preseason game versus the jaguars this is a two-point conversion and i know he doesn't get the second foot in bounds but this play is still super impressive like especially at the catch point it's just it was super difficult to get two feet in bounds here you know setting up this route just getting to the outside stem there he wastes no time in his route stem like he can be a little more you know, some people will go a little more finesse, be a little more cute with their routes, setting things up, but he never wastes his time. He'll give you a slight hesitation maybe, and he gets to his, his spot quickly, which he does get here. Like, if the ball's thrown with perfect timing, like, he's open here for a nice touchdown onto the flat, like, if it's a perfect throw, perfect timing, and it's a little bit late to come out, and he has to go over the top. That body control right there, ability to attack over the DB like this is insane to make this catch. It's such a difficult position for receiver to be in. And like, he's not the biggest re uh, receiver too, but he still makes these types of plays look routine. And then he's still able to sh at least show concentration, try to get the two feet in bounds, only he's able to get one, but still just a ridiculous play uh, before that. We can watch it from the other angle here, see if it shows a nice view at the catch point. 
We can see him go over the top of this DB. Um, basically, moss him. Just would have been impressive. If he was able to get two feet in bounds, it would have been one of the most ridiculous plays I've ever seen. But just you can see the potential of what he's able to do at the catch point with those types of plays. At the top of the screen, running another outbreaker, you know, working on these comebacks, these types of routes, just outs, whatever it is, he's very comfortable working there. And that's something I think, you know, Dolphins need more of, you know, just changing up the offense. But here he does it again with the timing. Wastes no time getting into his route stem, just gets his release, gets to the outside track, leans into the DB, creates separate a little separation right at the top of his break, super efficient there. And then, you know, sees the throw thrown away from him work back away from the db so he never has a chance and then secure a nice little seven eight yard gain um also just another great catch of the catch point sliding to this um, making a difficult catch like low and away from your body not always easy but he can make those catches and we've seen him go above the frame below the frame you know over the top of someone just catching it super far out in front of him very natural hands catching receiver um, which is very very important especially when your routes are all based on timing if you're making these strong catches and then you know making a nice diving sliding catch all about timing within this offense and that's why the coaching staff really loves river craycraft third and ten situation here we got river in the slot he can play both inside and outside um, nice little angled route where he tacks the outside leverage there off the rip to avoid the reroute underneath like we can watch this he avoids the reroute this guy doesn't end up going for him so he just gets back on his route path here but he wants to widen this safety as well that's why he's taking that outside leverage uh work here and then takes this dig right in between these two defenders doesn't want to gain too much depth just get a little bit past the sticks um pretty efficient there and then i catch the ball away from the frame again this is amazing hand catching especially when you're working towards the middle of the field like you can take a hit here and he does even take a hit and he's still able to stay in his feet and pick up an extra few yards that's amazing athleticism like and fearlessness to make this catch like this very reliable got to have these types of guys on the roster might be the most reliable on the roster with his hands and things like that like i think craycraft is probably the best blocking receiver on the roster and might have the best hands on the roster honestly like and those things go a long way and he still runs pretty good routes knows exactly where he's supposed to be very intelligent and then fearless work in the middle like this to make this catch that concentration tracking um, and to stay on your feet, the athleticism too, like very, very good work there from Craycraft. Craycraft is an amazing blocker, and like there's times where he'll come down, you know, crack, uh, crack back block down in the box. He can be involved, go out and block DBs just straight up, base blocking, things like that. But here you get to see them. They set up a screen. He's just sort of running his route, and he's a little late on his block, but look how he readjusts there. That's so, such an amazing heads up play from him. Like, not even him just straight up blocking someone, just understanding where you're supposed to be. Here he takes a wide release, right? Because you want to, you're not really running around here. You're just sort of setting this up for the screen. You want this DB's eyes to be on you. And now he's like, hey, in his position here, he thinks if the guy running back gets to the edge, he can seal this guy off. But he's sort of, you know, going to break to the inside. Look how Craycraft adjusts to this because the DB gets inside of him um, to then cut him off, get his body in a place. And now it just gives Brooks basically a one on one to work with. Uh, with another DB and he makes a miss this is all set up by Craycraft if Craycraft doesn't steal this guy off right here he's gonna have be forced to work back into help or try to bounce to the outside and he most likely does not score but based off Craycraft's heads up play in these situations it's just these little things that count um, with his game he usually like takes the right release knows where he's got to be even when he's not getting targeted he knows hey I want to pull this defender away so I need a release to the outside versus like cover two or something like that he's always making those tiny little details matter like on this block right here to readjust your positioning um, especially when the corner got like two yards past you like that like look where this corner ends up getting like he's a you know a yard or two past him he's still able to get off and seal it it's a, an amazing amazing play that's why then we break down it's preseason week one versus the falcons this is probably the best route he had it was super efficient you know working on like that double break towards the inside like dig route guy has outside leverage he just eats up the space instantly he's always working on the timing like like you see they're using the play action in the backfield he's just getting out there as fast as he can so he can eat up break this off to the inside look like he's going to break towards the post and then break it off towards the dig as well keeps that db off balance just creates natural separation catches it with his hands like right on the break all about the timing look how him and the quarterback are on the same page that's why craycraft has shown good chemistry with pretty much every quarterback that he's worked with it's been like the preseason so far like he's been on the same page with a lot of them 
Tua, Mike White right there. We showed Skyler earlier being good. Like Tua was very comfortable with Craycraft last year. Um, like every time he threw it to him, it felt like it was a completion. And he makes these just catches look so natural. A lot of guys like are not catching with him with the hands. Even like Tyreek and Waddle are like will catch it with their body in this situation. And Craycraft making it look easy as usual. And it was probably my favorite route from him just like the most efficient he looked getting in and out of his breaks it was super nice like especially that second break towards the dig over the middle was super clean especially because he wastes no time like he just gets up there vertically he's not slowing down at all like no wasted movement very very efficient with his feet um just the little things that he's doing each and every play stand out and that's why i'm glad that he made the roster so if you guys know the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys